Yo what is up guys my name is Alex Pay and welcome to the video. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can live stream on Twitch or on YouTube pretty much with like the best kind of settings that you can use for OBS. So the settings I'm going to be showing you like for OBS are the settings that I use to live stream. So all you want to do is go into settings on OBS and go to stream tab and here you can either select whether you're streaming on Twitch or on uh, YouTube. So, so I've been streaming on Twitch quite often so if you want to go and check out my Twitch channel I'll have a link for that in the description so you can go and follow me on Twitch so you can see when I'm actually live streaming so here you can see the output tab and it's on streaming and the encoder that I use quite often is X264 and I'm going to show you the settings that I use for this right now so pretty much just put on uh, CBR have this on fast Either, it depends on how decent your PC is really. If you have a really decent PC, like, have it on faster. If you have kind of like, a mid-range, like kind of slowish CPU or PC, whatever. Just put it on fast. I like to live stream on faster because it still gives you really great quality. And just put the tone on. I like to put it on animation. A lot of people don't really use tune when it comes to like live streaming and recording. But... I do, I think it really kind of adds a little bit of a nicer effect to the live stream. So these are the settings that I would use for live streaming on Twitch. And the bitrate you may ask if, well depending on what your upload speed is, if you want to go onto speed test and just kind of do a speed test on your internet. Now the download doesn't really matter too much, as you can see mine's on around 57 megabytes but the uploads what you're really interested in so as you can see my upload speed is around 13 14 maybe max like 15 megabytes however to live stream either on twitch or on youtube you need at least like in between 4 megabytes and around maybe 6 to 7 megabytes like to have 16 upload is like quite good internet However, if you have slow internet, don't worry, you can still live stream. What I would advise you to do is just maybe turn this bitrate down from 35,000 to maybe, say, 2,500. And just kind of mess around with your bitrate and kind of find like the middle point for you where it works for you the best. Okay, so these are the settings that I use for the uh, X264 encoder. However, I also do often use the NVIDIA encoder. Now if you have an NVIDIA graphics card you can use this encoder and just put it on CBR and pretty much unlike the X264 this one it doesn't have the CPU usage preset it just kind of has like your bitrate uh, the rate control which is I put it on CBR that's like the best uh, Kind of mess around with your bitrate, decide what bitrate you want to use. I may link in the description a bitrate calculator so you can kind of calculate what bitrate you should be live streaming at. And just put the preset on high quality and leave the profile and the levels on what they are on. And also untick use two pass encoding, just untick that. Okay, so now as we go on to the Alright, so if you guys want me to make another video for recording, because this video is mainly for live streaming, if you want me to make another video on how to live on how to record with OBS, let me know down in the description. Also, like this video, and I may make another video on how to record with OBS in like the best quality possible. And as we go into audio, your sample bitrate have it on 48. And here is your desktop audio device. So I have my headphones and they are hooked up to the Astro mix amp. As you can see here, so I have them selected there. And also my microphone, which is this tab here. And here is my microphone. So just make sure that when you are going to either live stream or record, make sure your headphones and your microphone are set up properly. Okay, so now when it comes to the rescale output, I would say if you downscale this, to 1280 by 720 it may take a little bit of the usage of your CPU and it may be like easier for you to live stream with your PC whether you have a mid-range or a low-range computer if you just kind of downscale it a bit 
because all of these settings here in the video settings these are like what the final product of your live stream will come out to be so like your base resolution and your rescale output so have your downscale filter if you have like a crazy 10k gaming pc have this on 32 samples um if you just kind of have a mid-range pc have it on 16 i just kind of use 16 even though i have quite a decent pc and fps make sure you have it on 60 because who would want to watch a live stream in not 60 fps so just make sure that you are live streaming in 60 fps make sure that you've downscaled it to 1280 by 720 and now as we go into the advanced tab i have my process priority on high because i really want my cpu to give a lot of the priority to obs when it comes to live streaming and just put the color range on full and you are pretty much done now if you want me to make another video on the best settings to live stream on youtube and also a video on how to record with obs be sure to go like the video also let me know down in the com comment section if this video helped you thanks for watching and peace out